Hey Groovy Babies, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since you saw me, but I am back with another really awesome tutorial for you guys. And today we are going to be working on the snake walk. Hope you guys are excited. I have three different variations that you can work on, as well as just like the original casual snake walk. I'm gonna show you what it looks like first, of course, and then we can hop right into it. Let's do it. One, two, three, fuck it. This mug is awesome. It's really hot out today and my drink is still cold, so that's the good news. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so that is the original snake walk for you guys. Um, I'll show you what the other variations look like and then we'll go ahead and break them all down for you. So the first variation is the same thing, except when we're doing this curve motion, you're gonna go up on your heels and then proceed. So it looks like this. So that's the first one. The second one is kind of like a, a exchange and pop. Let me just show you. <laughs> it's easier said than done. It's easily, eas <laughs> it's easier done than said. So you're gonna go out, pop, switch, pop, switch, pop, switch, pop. From the side. All right, and then the last one is probably the most popular, but also low key, I'm not really that great at it, so don't judge me. <laughs> but it's um, the one where it's on the toe. That one's a little bit more challenging, but with practice, it becomes clearer and more easy. So let's just do it real quick for you. probably like my best attempt ever. I have been working on this one for so long, um, but what I will say is the more that you practice it, the easier it becomes and the more fluent that move becomes. So I'll show you from the side. Ta-da! I will say that there are people out there that can do that way better than me but I do know the technicalities and kind of how to break it down for you guys. So that won't stop me from telling you the correct movement and who knows, maybe you'll do it better than I do. But let's hop into this tutorial. We're gonna start with just the classic snake walk. Um, some precursors that you really wanna work on is kind of isolating what that front leg is doing and what the back leg is doing. So let's just break that down real quick because this will, kind of flow into each and every move. So when you're drilling this, I want you to first start with isolating that front leg. I'm using my left leg as my navigator, right? So when you're doing it, try and practice curving in, curving out, curving in, out, in, out. Do it again from the side, the in, out, in out so that's what that front leg is doing that's kind of like your navigator and if you notice like when you're doing it your hips kind of want to open that back leg kind of wants to open up so don't fight it because that's what this is all about you gotta, you gotta open them hips okay so the back foot is kind of doing like a tap motion so it's gonna be out in out in out in so you're gonna practice that while rolling and just keep that front foot going straight for now. Out, in, out, in, open your body. Perfect. Show you from the side. So out, in, out, open up, in, out, in. 
Perfecto. So that's what you really want to keep in mind. These two movements are going to be combined together. So you're going to want to be doing them at the same time. While this front leg, I like to kind of start on an out motion, like a wide eagle. And then I pull it in and this leg follows. Open, follow, open, follow. So as you can see, that front leg is doing the swivel and the back leg is kind of meeting it at those special points. Open up, follow through. Open up, follow through. Open, follow through. Hope that makes sense. Open, follow through. Open, follow through. Okay, so now that we have the fundamentals, I think another essential, sorry, I'm parched. Okay, so one thing you really wanna think about when you're doing this is your upper body, of course, and your hips. So when you're doing that open motion, you really wanna be like here, completely open, right? And then when that foot goes back in, you kind of follow through with that back foot. Another good way to practice this is to drill it with like cones or even like stuff that you have laying around. Actually, let me get some cones. Wait, I don't have any cones. Uh, well, another thing that you can do is just use stuff that you have laying around. So let's use this here mug. Shout out to Fellow. This, there's still ice in here. It's been like an hour. I have these things here. Water mug, sunscreen, Insta360, and my Fellow mug. Just use whatever you have laying around because all you're going to be doing is maneuvering around them. So you can use wheels, cups, whatever it is that you need to kind of practice this drill. So, oh God. So let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. So you kind of want to have the spacing kind of like your body width. My body is here, so I'm going to kind of line everything up so that I have space to wiggle through. Perfect, okay. All right, so now that we have everything kind of set up, what's gonna happen is you're gonna use these as your guidance slash initiation to go into the next move. So the way that you wanna go about this is um, the same motions that I showed you earlier, but also um, each motion is gonna be performed in between the cones. So when I'm doing this, I'm gonna go open, follow through, open, follow through. Again, open around the first one, follow through, open, follow through. So you're following through, you're opening up around it and you're following through, through the cone. Open, following through. Okay, now that you have your setup, let's go through the other motions. Um, that is just your basic snake walk. So if you want to, you can go ahead and practice that and then move on to these other kind of jazzy moves, okay? So the next one is with the heel. The same thing is happening. You're gonna open, heel up, open, heel up, open. Same thing again. Open, heel up, open, heel up. Cool. So this really helps with like precision and really giving you an idea of where you're supposed to be opening those hips and how you're supposed to follow through. I'll go ahead and try and show you guys from the back what this one looks like. Open, heel up, 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 open, done. So with that, you're going to be using your hips to widen it up, <laughs> using your hips to widen it out. When you get here, open, heel. Let's drill that one more time. Show you it in slow-mo. Jazzy, snazzy, you got this. So, next. Let me 
gonna take a little sip of this too. Uh, real game changer, real game changer. Next, we're gonna do the one that is an open and pop. And you kind of have to interchange in between these motions. So I'm going here, pop and open, changing, pop and open, changing, pop and open. Open, follow through, pop, change, pop. This one's a little tricky, but you want to think of it like this. I'm going open, following through, but then I'm going to switch. Open, follow through. So it's kind of tricky, but you just got to keep drilling it until you're killing it. Okay, so open, change, 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 done. Okay. Switch, oh, switch, switch, switch. It really helps too when you add a little pop to it. Pop, 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 and so on and so forth. So let's do it around the cones again. Open, change, change. hope this is making sense it's just about practice it's gonna get your head kind of mixed up but the more you drill it the better it's gonna get okay our last and final variation is the one with the toe this one is really all in the hips you kind of want to be comfortable doing that which I am not let's be real but a good way again to drill it is to start with your toe up and you're not even gonna start moving that back foot yet, okay? You're just gonna have it up and let it guide you. Toe is up, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, in, out, in, out, in. Cool. So that's not the most tricky part. I'd have to say that back foot going like this while you're on only your toes is the tricky part. So what I would do is drill that with that front foot down first, AKA working with your just casual snake walk, getting used to that motion, and then let it take you from there. So you're gonna drill this again. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out. It's a great drill to help you open those hips. In, out, in, out. So that's the basic motion again. And all you're gonna do is just keep practicing pulling these things together. I'm still practicing to this day, but you know, none of us are perfect. None of us know what we're doing. So why don't we just figure it out together? So I like to start with this one kind of like sideways. So I can really, what I like to do is pull it out this way. Pounce, that heel is still doing that open eagle kind of thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go in, bounce it here. Wait, I did it the wrong way. Here, 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 here. So it's really in your hips too. So when you're doing this too, you can practice just like stagnantly having this up, right? And get used to, you see how my hips are Bounce, bounce. So you want to kind of get used to that balance. Okay? So just keep practicing that. Show you it from the side. All right, so now let's try it around the cones. This is really kind of, it's like fundamental. It really helps you figure out what you're supposed to be doing and when you're doing it. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go open, close, open, Close, open, open, closed, open, closed, open. <laughs> and you can move these closer if you want to. Um, you don't have to necessarily have them super wide apart. This will make the motion not as dragged out, but also you gotta be quicker about it. So the one thing that I'm trying to work on personally 
is not really hopping because that's not really what's supposed to be happening. You really wanna make sure that this back foot is kind of tapping. You can lift, but I kind of like overdo it. So to each his own. I'll show you again from the front. So you're gonna go in, out, in, out, in, out. Another good thing to remember when you're drilling this is to kind of meet yourself in the middle. So you have your toe up, it's out, in, follow through, pop it out, follow, pop it out, okay? Tap. I think that just unlocked it for me with the tap. So like really think about out. Try not to lift your foot off the ground too much. I'm hoping this is making sense. If it makes sense, let me know in the comments. If not, we'll revisit it, okay? But I think this is very fundamental to getting the snake walk down and making it more stylistic. Again, I'm not a professional, but I know how to break things down in a way to where it's easy to understand and comprehend. So, whew, hope this is making sense. I think another way I wanna break this down to you guys is maybe I'll do a POV. So I'll grab the camera and show you exactly what my feet look like in each one of these moves. And maybe that will help because also like from an above point of view, you can really see like what's going on and when to make those movements. So let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> okay, so here are my feet. <laughs> so that way you're gonna go open, follow, open, follow, open, follow, open, so for the heel up motion, it's the same thing. My little flurries are in the way. <laughs> so you're gonna open, heel up, bring it back down, heel up, down, heel up, down, heel up, put it down, and yeah. All right. That is all there is to it. Just make sure you keep practicing, practicing, practicing. We all get there through drilling and giving it our all and you know, just take it at your own pace and do it at your own rate. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to cover. I am also here for you anytime. Just let me know if you have questions and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, fellow, for sponsoring this video. It's a nice, cool 360 mug and it keeps everything cool, delicious, the same taste that it always has. And honestly, it must like and it fits perfectly in my palm so thank you so much fellow for sponsoring this video and i will probably be using this for the rest of my life cheers <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video as always stay groovy peace